I've been living in London since 2004. Um, I gradually met other musicians through the open mic circuit and started making connections here while I was working a day job. And it felt like a really exciting and creative place to live for most of that time. Uh, but recently, a lot of my friends and musicians have been leaving. London is a, an increasingly hard place to, to make a living. It's expensive. And uh, I recently had a relationship that, that ended as well. Um, and so I started to wonder whether this was the end of my relationship with London too. I was thinking where I'd go if I did leave and what I'd be missing. So these songs are about the city, how the city sings. I think it's a really therapeutic thing to do to uh, to bring all this stuff out and uh, it's 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 kind of been the right time in my life to make this album I don't think there's been a time where I could have made this album um, other than now you know it's kind of a very a very now thing for me what's going on and how I'm responding to my experience and putting that into music and so it's it's taken it's taken these things happening to me to get this album out of me From the South Bank to Soho uh, is, is, is a narrative that follows the journey of uh, a couple through uh, through London, through central London, and um, you know, in some ways, is is a song about a love triangle between a couple and and a city, and uh, about you know a decision to um, to choose one or the other. Uh, we recorded from the South Bank to Soho uh, at Real Worlds. I recorded it in one take, and then uh, I got Sam Sweeney to to come and and play on the track. And he, we used his his first take as well. There was something just really um, kind of beautiful about the way that he was sort of following what I was doing as it was as it was happening and not thinking about it too much. And um, it just really worked for for the track. There's something really special about what happens on a first take, the first time that you play a song in the studio, and um, particularly with a musician like Sam, who's very intuitive. Um, just hearing him sort of following along with the story and responding to that in the moment was something that we could never have captured again. And um, it was, you know, totally fitting that it went on the record as it was. Is that this, the middle part? It's the middle part. So the, the second, the, the fiddle part is sort of going. Da, 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 da. We just go. Ba, ba, ba. Exactly. And yeah. then on the top, you got. Okay. What a 
Ele. I think the way that we we recorded at Real World and, and used that bigger space there, it kind of reflects the the more expansive nature of the, the this album. I think it's so dynamic. There's such a lot of uh, dynamic contrast on the album, and you know that's that's definitely been um, accentuated by the spaces that we've been in with Real World and with the Convent, um, which is kind of you know bigger spaces than we've used to record in the past. Block out the cries and screams Smash it all to smithereens It's time to set it off It's time to drop the bomb I've been a really big fan of Neil Cowley Trio for uh, a long time now. I met Neil some years ago and um, I found out that he was uh, engineers, records were engineered by Don Monks. Um, and I got in touch with Dom and he, he was, uh, was interested in, in working on the album. He liked what I was doing and um, he got Neil involved, which was just, uh, you know, Neil's been co producing the album and playing on it, which has been an absolute dream to have this band. And uh, you know, sometimes these things do work out. Uh, it's been great to have Evan playing on the album. Evan Jenkins, who's uh, Neil Cowley's long-standing drummer. Um, again, I've heard him play a lot on on different albums, but to have him on this record has been absolutely uh, fantastic. And also, my my long-standing bassist Matt Ridley. Um, it's been with me since since the start of this whole journey and um, it's been great to have him on the album again we sort of developed alongside each other musically in our different ways and he's always been uh, such an inspiration to play with Uh, I think, if anything, the sort of the point of of kind of something that's come to fruition on this album is seeing myself as a songwriter, and that the most important thing is to use my my ability as a musician, as a singer, and a guitar player to bring whatever it is out of the song that is the most moving and impactful thing. And sometimes that means doing something that actually doesn't show you strictly as a musician in the best light you might not need to play something that that's that's that impressive or complicated it's all about making sure that these songs connect and that they move people because ultimately that's that's the most interesting thing about music for me you know i'm i'm not really interested in being competent in some ways this album is the combination of of all of the experience that I've I've had in the last 10 years of living in London I think so much of it is reflected in this album and it's taken getting to that point of, of thinking about leaving to have the perspective to go back and see what it was that's been special about this time and to see what it is that I've I've, I've drawn from that experience uh, So did you leave London? I'm still here at the minute Ha, ha, ha.